About 17 hours. We got to go back there today. 17 hours. My home is Atlanta now. Amen. We hit the road. We got to get back there. But listen, we ain't in no rush. Can you say amen? amen. We don't have to be here all night, but we want to do something special. I want to drop it like it's hot. Amen. This word. Hallelujah. Amen. And, uh, and then we want to hit y'all with some music. 
just to give you a little taste of what's to come, amen, when we come up here and do this big hip-hop rally, hip-hop revival to help y'all go on and, you know, flip this, whatever y'all, whatever y'all gonna flip, I'm saying, amen, you can't, you can't do nothing big without the foundation. Yes. Yes. Hallelujah. Yes. I'm, I'm the first. Somebody say first. Yes. I'm the first artist in the history. Somebody say history. Yes. Not just gospel. In the history of music to sign a major recording contract. Y'all hear me real clear. And represent the kingdom of God on a global hip-hop platform. Yes. I'm the first yes. to ever do that. I give God the glory for it. Not people y'all together. The people are downgrade what God has done. Yes. I'm not the first gospel rapper. Holy hip-hop. But that ain't me. That ain't me. I'm not religious. I'm just real. I'm strictly kingdom. I've been delivered from churchy stuff, ministry, mafia, yeah. church, logical, systematic. I just bust the devil on out. I'm just strictly kingdom. Amen. That's what brought us together today because Amen. we kingdom mind. Amen. 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 We have a kingdom mandate. Watch this. We're kings and we're queens. Amen. Yeah. Don't get it twisted. Look at somebody say, I'm a king. Hallelujah. I'm, I'm a queen. I'm a queen. I'm a queen. You got to say that. <laughs> Hallelujah. You ain't just no church goer. Come on. You a church grower. Can you say amen? Yeah. Hallelujah. You and Burger King tell somebody about the king of king. Hallelujah. Yeah. Amen. Hallelujah. No more church as usual. That's why y'all out the box for real up here. Y'all on the mountain top doing it real big. And when you get to the top of the mountain, you got to give God the glory for the start. Yeah. 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 Hallelujah. It's a glory mountain. Hallelujah. Everybody want to be on top, but nobody want to give up top the glory. Can you say amen? Me. I want y'all to get ready. Make sure you have your CD ready. Make sure y'all ready. Because when I'm done, I'm going to change. I'm going to do it. I'm going to come in last. And I'm going to really drop it like a hot one. You know, I'm going to spin some rhymes for y'all. Amen. But I want you to do your songs. God sang to your songs. These are my spiritual sons. They travel me all over the world. I thank God for them. Young men. They're unmarried men. Amen. But they live holy. Somebody say holy. Yeah. Oh, holy. Can't, I'm going to put it this way. Y'all listen to me. Can't nobody live half a holy and roll with me. Can you say amen? Yeah. Just one letter word. Amen. But you chop up L Y. You know what you got. And when you do that, that means you have step on Jesus, and that's when you come to the devil. Santa Claus got a whole lot of them. Can you say amen? amen. Hallelujah. But look at somebody and say, I dare you to live holy. I dare you to live holy. Hallelujah. All right, we want to first John. I'm going to my Brooklyn and on right now. I'm going to talk a little fast. Amen. First John. Amen. You there? Say amen. amen. The word of God is already blessed, but I'm going to pray, Father, in the name of Jesus. We thank you, God. We empty ourselves before you right now, God. We say, forgive us for our sins. Anything we have said, done, contrary to your word, Father, forgive us, God. And forgive those, God, who have sinned against us, those despitefully use us, God. Father, we forgive them and we release them to you. God, knowing that if we forgive our debtors, Lord God, that you're able to forgive our sins and cast them into the sea of forgiveness, never to bring them up again. Father, we thank you right now for your word is already blessed. Now open our ears and our hearts and our minds, God, that we may be able to receive from you right now the name of Jesus. We decree that we are blessed people right now, God. We're your children, God. And this word will marinate in our heart, God, not from just this moment, Lord God, but from this moment on, for the rest of our life, this word will stick with our bones, God. And we will be better people, God. We'll be better servants for you. We'll be a bright, brighter lights, God, in the midst of darkness. And we give your name the glory, the honor, the praise. We serve notice on the devil that you have no place here. This is the house of God. This is holy ground. No spirit, no weapon, nothing formed against us shall prosper. No spirit of diversion or, or destruction. We thank you, God, right now for your word. And we give you glory, honor, and praise. Those who believe the word of God in Jesus' name, say amen. Hallelujah. Clap your hands for God as he takes the sheep. Hallelujah. We about to eat. Can you say amen? Amen. Very important, very important, very important that we understand that in this hour, there's a mighty shifting. Somebody say shifting. Shifting, shifting means you're in one place and something is going that way. Uh, you're at this place and something going that way. Stay with me because I'll be flowing. And so what happened is that there's a shifting going right now in the atmosphere. Look at somebody and say, God is shifting some stuff. God is shifting some Look stuff. Look at somebody and say, God is moving some stuff. God is moving some stuff. Say, don't get too comfortable where you are. Come on, look at them and say, don't get too comfortable where you are. Because God just might shift you. God just might move you. Come on, look at somebody and say, don't take ownership to everything. Because some things you take ownership to, God might shift that. Ah, but, 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 but we're in an hour where things are shifting. Watch this. God is moving and the things in the atmosphere are changing. I believe that in this very foundation of the earth that, 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 that things are being troubled. The earth, the earth's axis is being troubled. 
trouble is being shaken right now. Uh, no doubt about it. The bottom line is that Jesus is soon to return. Amen. And so with that said, I, I bring you a word today of, of, of confidence, a word of, of blessed assurance, if you will, such an appropriate song. I bring you a word of blessed assurance today. We're going into 1 John. Can you say 1 John? John? Two. Somebody say two. two. Uh, we're going to begin at 25. And this is the promise. That he had promised us. Look at somebody say, he had promised me. Uh, he had promised us even eternal life. Look at somebody say, the Lord promised me that I can live forever and reign forever with him. Verse 26, these things have I written unto you concerning them that seduce you. That means people that are trying to get you off course. People that are trying to get you off focus. That means people that ain't about God business. They're about foolishness. Huh? They're the people that you will need in your life. The people that God is shifting out of your life. Stay with me. 27, but the anointing. Somebody say, the anointing. Oh, I need y'all to say it like y'all are seminary. Say, the anointing. Oh, and y'all in a hot chapel service. Look at somebody say, the anointing. The anointing. Receive. Look at somebody say, have you received the anointing? Of him abiding in you, say it's in you, it's in you. Uh -huh. It's in you. Watch this, watch this, watch this. The anointing which you have received of him abiding in you. Uh, and ye need not that any man teach you, but as the same anointing teacheth you of all things, and it's true, and it's no lie. And even as it hath taught you, you shall abide in him. Verse 28, and now, somebody say now. now. Look at your name and say, this is the moment of truth. Uh, little children, abide in him. Look at somebody say, stay in him. Stay. Uh, that when he shall appear, we may have what? Confidence. And not be ashamed before him at his coming. If you know that he is righteous, you know that everyone that does righteous next is born of him. Put your hand together for the Lord, the word of God's flesh. Yeah, we're going to use amen for subject. Hallelujah. Uh, I've got, say this with me, say I've got, I've got a fireproof, a fireproof promise. promise. Say I've got, I've got a fireproof, a fireproof promise. promise. Glory to God. Life can be challenging at times, can it? Things have changed from days of old. Things are not the same way they used to be. you all holler back at your boy. Hallelujah. Amen. Things are not the way they used to be. Things are different. Things have changed. There used to be a time people had reverence for the presence of God. People had reverence for the man and the woman of God. We've gone from having uh, reverence for God and reverence for the man and woman of God to replacing God with the man and the woman. Y'all ain't saying that again. Uh, we've gone to a reverence in the holy God to putting more confidence in man than we put in God. We come into a place where we begin to trust man more than we trust God. We get to a place that we're trusting what man will say, the promises of man. But how many of you know man will let you down? Can I hear what you Friends, friends, how many of y'all got some good friends? Yeah. How many of y'all got some not so good friends? Come on, y'all can tell the truth. Yeah. Shit, the devil here. Uh, I have you to know that friends, they say they'll be with you to the end. Uh, but I found out that friends have the capability. Somebody said capability. They have the capability and the ability. And, and they have and they have the desire many times to take on the spirit of Casper. Uh, because when you need them the most, uh, shoot, there you go. Hallelujah. Glory to God. When you need friends, you can't find them nowhere. It won't pick up the phone. Let me see the call ID. Y'all ain't saying nothing to me. Hallelujah. But friends will let you down. But look at your name and say, but I. Oh, Lord, have 
mercy, have mercy. We take ownership of stuff. We don't realize, even if you own your house, you don't understand that the government can come and take it. Hallelujah. You don't believe that. Hallelujah. Oh, my name is on it, Apostle. My name, I pay bills. You can pay bills till you leave here. Hallelujah. But as long as you live, you're going to owe somebody something. Hallelujah. But the Bible said, oh, no man, nothing but love, but you're going to have to pay your bills. Can you say amen? Hallelujah. You think that you really own that house? Stop paying for it. Y'all ain't saying that anymore. Thank God that you ought to realize that God bless you with that house. God bless you with that car. Hallelujah. But watch, watch this. We're going out the car of the house. I still got a fireproof promise. Hallelujah. Glory to God. I'm preaching already. Lord have mercy. In Christ, uh, there are many confrontational things that you will take on as a child of God. Yeah. Walking and living for God is not always easy. Amen. Uh, look at your neighbor and say, but it is worth it. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. When you live and roll with Jesus, you got to deal with some demons. You got to deal with some answers. Hallelujah. Not in the street, not just in your community. Hallelujah. You got to deal with some devils in the house of God. Hallelujah. You got to deal with some folks who just ain't right. They got their church face on and hallelujah and glory to God. Hallelujah. Eat a mosquito and all that other stuff. And some people got the spirit of kill the beat. They try to fool you. Hallelujah. They think they got the Holy Ghost there in the corner. Ain't doing nothing but spelling E D I E spelling A. But I come to tell you tonight that the Holy Ghost is real. That ain't no joke. Hallelujah. And I got a promise. Hallelujah. That's fireproof. Hallelujah. But I want to encourage you today that as you encounter different things in your walk with God, that you're going to have to keep on staying on cause yeah. and staying focused. Yeah. The old used to say it's an individual journey. Hallelujah. I didn't understand it then, but I sure understand it now. Because there are a lot of people that are clapped with you and they're standing with you. But I found out that the people that are standing with you ain't always standing for you. Hallelujah. Everybody that's patting you on the back, hallelujah, they ain't happy to see you. So I'm over looking where they can stab you with the ice cream. That makes sense. Hallelujah. But I'm telling you today, hallelujah, that I've got a fireproof brother. So I, we all have a calling in our lives. Look at your name and say, I have a calling. Hallelujah. My name is one thing, but I got a call from God. Hallelujah. Some of y'all wait for some jobs or some medicine to call you. Some of you wait for family to call you. But I'm coming to here to let you let, let you know today. Hallelujah. I'm coming, coming to let you know. Hallelujah. That God has a calling on your life. I came to let you know that God has a calling on your life. God ain't calling you to just come here and sit and enjoy yourself. Hallelujah. This ain't no Michael Jackson concert. Hallelujah. You came to do a work. Lord is saying in this hour, I don't need no more membership. I need some partakership. I need some food that's going to lift up your sleeves and say, look here, I got to be about the Father business. I didn't come to just look and see what's going on. I came with a spirit of expectation, not expectation. Let me tell you the definition of a prayer hitter. Let me talk over here. Let me talk to the pastor. Let me help them out. The spirit of, of, of a prayer hitter. Let me help y'all out. The Bible says in the book of uh, uh, Gospel according to John, it says that uh, Jesus came unto his own. In his own what? Received him what? Somebody say not. But it's such a received that he gave them power to be called the what? Son of God. Y'all looking at me like I can't believe this guy can rap. Hallelujah. You looking at God in motion. Hallelujah. Let me tell you something. The truth of the matter is that when you have a vision from God, you want to share it with people that have your heart. You go to people that have your heart and be the people that have your help. If you ain't got the leader's heart, you will never be no good. You don't be no good for nothing. You got to have the leader's heart in order to be of help. You can't say, how can I help you? You ain't got my heart. Hallelujah. Because if you ain't got my heart, Hallelujah, you can't help me. Yeah, Lord, Lord, have mercy. Lord, Lord, but see what happens is you share it with people, you have meetings, and you say, This is what we're going to do. We're going to possess the land. We're going to do this, do that. And there's always some spirit that says, How are we going to do that? Mm. Really, so and so tried and they ain't get the loan. Oh, wow. mm. <laughs> in the right place right now. Yeah. There's always somebody that's going to doubt yeah. what God has already gone down. Yeah. Hallelujah. The name of God, I've got a fireproof promise though. Yeah. <laughs> When you, when, you, when you go, when you go, when you go, you go, you say, let, let, me, let, me, let me show you something. Let me, let, 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 let me share this vision with you. You begin to pour your heart. That's the great. You begin to pour your heart out. What happens is people look and they listen. But it's always somebody that got their arms folded. They got the spirit of expectation. They say, well, I can't be part of that group. I, I'm trying to pay my mom. I'm trying to pay my mom. I can't be part of no money team. I'm going to stand over here. And you know what? Misery loves company. Am I right about it? Because I'm not going to follow the vision. I'm going to try to get this sister down with me. Satan took a one third of the angels with him. Yeah. Hallelujah. They tried to overthrow the throne of God. But let me tell you something. Yeah, when the enemy tried to come in like a flood, God is going to do something about it every time. Yeah. And so what happens is that you're sharing with the people that believe the vision. They're grabbing the vision because they believe that the man and the woman of God is a set man and a set place, yeah. a set woman and a set place. You just don't happen to be here trying to place her. But you realize that you are the church. Can you say amen? Yeah. Hallelujah. So what happens? 
happens is that when you're sharing the vision with people, people grab it and you say, we need to turn our plate over. We need to seek God like never before. The Bible said that when you turn your plate over and you pray in secret, God will bless you open. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Somebody say open view. Open view. Open view. When it's an open view, everybody can see it. Hallelujah. You may not see the vision. Hallelujah. But that's okay because you've got to be a visionary to understand vision. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. But somebody say faith. Faith. Without works is dead. That's why you got to work your faith. Hallelujah. Glory to God. You got to work your faith, y'all. Hallelujah. Everything ain't going to happen just because God said it ain't going to happen. Hallelujah. It's going to happen because He said it. But you got to have to work your faith. You got to do your part. Look at your neighbor and say, do your part. Do your part. And so when God brings the thing to pass, the person that pray ahead, hate it, they, they can't be part of the celebration. When you say, we did this. Remember, we said we're going to do this. We laid it out. Now we're going to do this. They can't celebrate. When you celebrate and say, the Bible said the humble should hear the other be what? Glad. Not mad. But if you didn't be a partaker, you can't be a celebrator. All you was was a spectator. And so adult, that's what you call the definition of a prayer here. You hate the fact that we didn't believe you and we believed God and we stood flat footed and said, God, I'm going to trust you because I know that I got a fire for promise. I don't care what rage you show. Hell, I know what the fire for you come. Hallelujah. The ducks of the devil are trying to throw. Hallelujah. I'm still going to stand and I'm going to trust you. You gotta be a partaker. Uh -huh. Partaker. Yes. You have to be a participator. Yes. yes. Or you'll be a prayer hater. Because oh, yes. mm -hmm. God's word is true. Yes, it is. Well, somebody know I'm talking about. Amen. God speak a thing, it's gonna happen. Amen. Don't be discouraged. Any vision there, let me tell you something. It's not you, Pastor. It's not you. It's not you, Pastor. It's not you, Pastor. It's not you, Elder. It's not you, woman of God. It's not, it's not. No, any vision there is here. Anybody got a vision? Oh, yeah. 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 It's not you. It's not you. Sometimes you feel like you, you know, in the middle of the night, you're saying, This ain't me. Maybe, maybe I'm too harsh with this thing. Maybe, maybe I'm too pushy. No, 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 you're not pushy. The thing is that you have to be bold and you have to be direct. And you have to speak that thing into existence. You have to speak those things and be as not. You gotta speak it into the atmosphere. Yes. Because just like God's word shall not return unto a void, it shall accomplish everything that he sent it to do. So as we speak, hallelujah, as the God presence in the earth, when we speak something, yes. it has to heal, it has to do yes. something. Yes. Whatever we speak, it has to happen. So if you say, man, I'm broke, I ain't never going to be no yes. But guess what? You're going to be broke while you stand. Ain't be no friend around. Hallelujah. I don't need no broke folks. Hallelujah. I don't need no broke people around me. Hallelujah. Been there, done that. How many of y'all with me tonight? Oh. Hallelujah. The Bible says this. We find these words in 3 and, and 13 in 1 Corinthians. The Bible says, Every man's work shall be made manifest for the day shall declare it because it shall be revealed by fire. Amen. Fire shall try. Somebody say try. try. Uh, every man's work or what sort it is. Yes, if any man's work abide which he have built thereupon, he shall receive you. 
Her role on lips. Somebody said, I'm going to give me something. I'm going to give me something. I'll be doggone if I study and I put my time in. Hallelujah. I pass the test and I can't walk across the graduation stage and get mine. Hallelujah. I'll be doggone if I wake up early in the morning. Be on time. And when I go to sleep early and don't party and I sacrifice. This is you said it. I sacrifice myself for partying like everybody else. All my friends want to party. But I'm going to stay in the study for this test because I don't need to have no, no patriotic grade. Hallelujah. Oh, yeah. I don't need to get my report. God, hallelujah, and see all the flags and start singing, my country tears are deep, I don't need that, I need to see some A's, somebody say hey, hey. I'm gonna see some A's on my report card, I don't need no flags y'all ain't saying nothing to me, I don't need no flags waving at me when I look at that report card, it's gonna take some sacrifice yeah. living for That's God right. hallelujah, but watch this, every work is gonna be tried by the fire yeah. that means it's gonna get hot sometimes yeah. somebody say it's gonna get hot it's gonna get hot it's going to get crazy sometimes. That means there's going to be some heated situation. Yeah, yeah. Even in the house of God, there's going to be some heated situation. There's going to be some heated conversation. There's going to be somebody that's always somebody who think they know more than the visionary. It's always somebody who think they're more anointed than God's anointed. Yeah. It's always somebody who feels they have a revelation and an illumination. Yeah. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. They're the, they the, one, the main one who got the spirit of procrastination. Y'all ain't saying that. Yeah. It's always somebody that think they know better and do better. Oh, but, but, the, but I understand the definition of an addict. An addiction is a person keep doing the same thing but expecting different results. Hallelujah, hallelujah. The only thing, hallelujah, that's going to change is the weather. Y'all ain't say nothing to me. Hallelujah, Jesus is going to stay the same. And your situation is going to stay the same. Until you decide to give it all up. Uh, but even though the heat may come, how many people got some heated situations in your life today? Yesterday, just yesterday, yeah. how many people know that there's some fire burning? There, there's some heat burning. There's some people that see you elevate, but they're not happy for you. You got some haters in your family. You got some haters in your life. Some of y'all say this might be my husband. This might be my wife. Let me help you out. If they don't know Jesus, they ain't got no minute trying to get to know you. Y'all ain't saying nothing. Uh, if you trying to be saved, how you gonna save somebody else? Lord have mercy. Look at somebody say you got to get to live it first. Uh, It's true. Look at somebody say it's true. It's true. Look at your name and say God ain't playing. God is real. God is about it. <laughs> Hallelujah. That means he's about it. He's about it. That means what he says, he will do it. God don't need nobody to part time work for him. God don't need nobody to help him out. Hallelujah. God is all all by himself. He don't need nobody. But the word of God say that God is like fire. The Holy Ghost is like fire.
You know the regular crew. Like, yeah, the regular crew, that's all you need. You know what? This is a Gideon thing. You don't need a whole bunch of people. You, know, you just need people who are going to understand vision yes. and say, I just need to be in a set place with the set man and the set woman. Oh, yeah. I just need to be, oh, hallelujah, yeah. Jesus. I mean, I just need to be yes, in a set God. place. Forget oh, to heck with what people hallelujah. are saying. They're talking about you. Because those people are going to be broke. They're going to be sitting around here handicapped, looking crazy. Oh, and they'll be the same one with the same situation. Oh, but if you want to elevate in God, you got to humble yourself. you got to say, I ain't coming because you're coming. I'm going because I'm going for myself. Hallelujah. Yeah. When you get before God, ain't nobody gonna be tweeting God. God ain't saying that. Ain't nobody gonna be tweeting for God. Ain't nobody gonna be Facebook for God. It's gonna face God. You know all the conferences in the world, but that's gonna be a conference someday, a one on one conference. It's gonna be you and your own God. You're gonna look in the face and God, I did this and I did that. Hallelujah. He said, Well, what have you done for me lately? Hallelujah. You're gonna have to do what God called you to do because man can give you a whole bunch of stuff to do, but if it's not in the will of God, then you're wasting your time. I pray that you continue to be blessed by that word. Amen. It take almost about 20 minutes. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. I'm going to do my Superman act and come on out here. Amen. So you, but I want, to, I want to let you know, if you're thinking about giving your life to the Lord and you're here today, don't, don't let nothing stop you from giving your life to Jesus Amen. today. Amen. That's what it's all about. Amen. Young people, we're, 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 we're all the teens and the young adults. Y'all just stand up real quick. It's you Sunday. Let me talk to y'all. Let me tell you something. Sisters, I travel all over the world. I've been around supermodels, all kinds of stuff. Matter of fact, God said his, his cousin is one of the first, first African American supermodels to be on what? Sports Illustrated Sports 2008. Sports Illustrated twice. Amen. You see Amen. that? What's her name? Jessica White. Jessica White. She's a very famous um, supermodel. Amen. Amen. Let me tell you something. In the marketplace ministry, God may cause you to design, may cause you to walk the catwalk. But whatever you do, do it with godly integrity. God, amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Women, let me tell you something. And brothers, listen to me. Your body is sanctified. That's right. Your body belongs to God. I gotta tell people everywhere I go. It ain't just young people trying to get the freak on. It's some old folk trying to get the freak on. Amen. Amen. Come on. Come on. Let me tell you something. If you ever go to Walmart and you see the fruit and it got that big brown spot on it? Nobody wanna eat that fruit, huh? Because it's tainted. It's been touched the wrong way. It's been dropped. It's been mishandled. Your body, keep your body fresh. Yes. Amen. Amen. Keep, stay fresh. Amen. Amen. You have desires, but you say, God, deal with my desires. That's right. it's, it's normal for a young man to want to be with a young lady. Uh -huh. It's mm -hmm. normal for a young lady to want to be with a young man and spend time and be attracted. That's normal. The old church act like it was, it was an oxymoron. Like, that is, that's, <laughs> other, no, that's normal. It's natural. <laughs> but it's going to take the Holy Spirit to control your spirit. Yeah. 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 Hallelujah. Yeah. You can still have swag and all that stuff. I made it my own word. I said you can be sanctified, set apart for God, and still be fly. I made it my own word. It's called sanctify. You can be sanctify. You ain't got to be no square. But women, you are queens. Brothers, y'all kings. Hear me out. Now, I know. Now, now y'all say that real quick. I'm going to show y'all the significance of this. Be honest with me. How many of y'all like Lil Weezy? Stay up. If you like Lil Weezy, be honest with me. Come on, don't hesitate. Don't look at nobody. Lil Weezy. Now, do y'all know who Lil Weezy is? No, no, no. Lil Weezy is one of the top rappers out of Louisiana. A very rich young man. Tattoos all over his body, head down his back. That's just his style. Lil Weezy is my boy. I love him. We're praying for him. We're praying for him because he needs Jesus like I need Jesus. Hallelujah. Amen. God gave me a mission to reach people from the hood to Hollywood. Yeah, yeah. Hallelujah. I deal with when I did the first album, me and 50 Cent was in the studio for a whole week chilling in New York. See, I left that whole scene. Yeah, just, I still do music, yes. But I just do it to build the kingdom. Amen. That's all I do. And I present my sons and sons and daughters for their careers. It's okay. I tell them y'all can have a career. But I don't want y'all to be in a box. Your gift is relevant where there's need for light. Yes. You can't just have your gift in the house of God. You can, you can perfect it in the house of God. But see, God wants you to be in the global marketplace and take dominion because you're a queen. You're a king. See, and, and the territory God has given y'all is much bigger than just one place. Yeah, you, you planted in one place. But God want to expand your borders. Right. Yes. But he won't, he won't be able to do that until you allow him to grow you up in the word. Right. That's why you come to fellowship, to get the word, and to partake of this good word coming from the word of God. Amen. Because in here, everybody can be on their best behavior. Yes. But when you go out there, that's when it really counts. Yes. When you go to school, you see girls kissing girls in the mouth. Y'all don't want to hear that, but it's the truth. 
The yeah. boys kissing boys in the mouth. Yeah. I remember we was walking in Harlem. We was walking in the, by the village one day with my mother. We walked my mother, a 75 soldier. She ain't never been up there. We was walking, taking her, taking her to BBQ. And there was two guys walking, switching, and they had a little poom poom shorts on. Shorts up to here, had little hairy, hairy cheek sounds that were walking, oh kissing. God. And mother looked at him and said, Jesus. She said, No wonder why the Bible said, Hell, the largest amount there. People are doing what they want to do. Yeah. I'm not harping on homosexuality and lesbian. It's just, it's just bad as you being a liar or perpetrator, cheating, anything. Yeah. Saying the same. That's right. Yeah. Let me tell you, if the homos and homosexuals and can't come into the house of God and meet God, where can they go? Yeah. If liars yeah. can't come in the house of God, I mean, where can they go? If drunkards can't come, this is the place for hell. Yeah. 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 And that's what I love people. And I'm, I'm telling you, there are going to be some people coming in here that look like straight off the street walking. And I don't want you to look at them and ask them had they been in, you know, what movie you you just got upset. No, you don't know. You're going to have to have some clothes, something to wrap them up. You can't talk about it. You have to take them shopping. Hallelujah. Yeah. 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 The Bible says love cover for multitude of sins. Yeah. That means you have to cover somebody physically. Yeah. But that same person, you never know what God has for them yeah. to bless you. Right. So speaking to your life, young people, yeah, we, we do lyrics and all that. That's all cool. We get it, crumb, all that's fine. But when that's over, can you live holy? Yeah. Yeah. That's what I'll get to. So I want to let y'all know, God is calling y'all to a, a, a greater place in Him. No more can you be members, you need to be partakers. Amen. You need to get involved. No, no, we only got a certain amount of youth. No, you need to go and tell some more young people about what God is doing in this fellowship. You need to grow the ministry. Amen. You need to start that college ministry. You need to start that, that uh, elementary school ministry. Whatever God, you need to start that. That sisterhood, young sisterhood, that young brother. Y'all need to get it going. Amen. That's on y'all. They ain't got nothing to do with your earrings, your head, nothing. God is, is, God is really toning in on y'all, stepping up. This is you, yeah. Sonny. You have to step up, make a decision that you'll go to another dimension in God. Amen. 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 But believe this place, I decree a prayer, a prayer of release over your life. Yes. And you won't be afraid to just stand with boldness and you move yes. in the power of the Holy Ghost. Amen. Amen. God can use your mind up. Amen. Amen. For his glory. Yes. Amen. A lot of times people want to jump ship. God will just stay in the ship. Yes. But he wants you to be the light in the midst of God. Yes. Say amen. Yes. Amen. Come sit down. I love y'all. Amen. I want y'all to do something. Y'all be there. Just uh, I want y'all to come up. Can y'all just fill in this row? I don't know if these rows. Is these rows? Uh, all right. This is what I want to do. Everybody who know God called you to be a leader. But somewhere in your life you felt like, I know I'm supposed to be doing this, but somebody always seems like they're pulling me back. For some reason, or every time I go to do this, something is holding me back. I want y'all to just come up and fill these seats right here. Is that only you? you? If you're here. No, no, whoever you are. Whoever you are, you are. Just fill yeah. these, these ropes, all these seats, just sit here. Because we're going to serenade y'all. If you feel like God called you to do something great, but something always holding you back. If you feel like that, don't worry about nobody. Just come up, fill up these seats. If they get filled up, just fill the ones close to it. Amen. Because that's the story of my life. That's the story of my life. People say, hey, Robert, you know hip hop. You ain't talking hip hop in God. I said, no, I'm not going to just do it. I'm going to do it in the mainstream. I'm going to be on the same stage with 50 Cent and the rest of them. They said, it ain't going to happen. It can't happen. I said, it's going to happen. People look at me crazy. I had to go to church after the church. People look at me and say, yeah, they got to rap. That's that guy right there. But now God has blessed my name. And he's blessed me all over the world. And now watch this. The same people that say, you know what they say? You stupid. Because you know you need to be at this award and that award. And I ain't got time for that. Because I got to preach the gospel. Yeah, yeah. Everybody trying to be a superstar. Somebody, while you on the grind for God, somebody need to be on the ground for you. Yeah. That's why you got to thank God for your leaders. Yeah. Yeah. Because whatever you're doing, somebody got to be praying for you. Yeah. I, I, I look at people funny when they say, I'm praying for you, God. I said, for real? I said, okay. All I like to see is they schedule. They daily the schedule. Uh -huh. But some people schedule so busy, they ain't got time to pray. But they say, I pray for me. And I show them, I need the type of prayer that you're going to talk to God, then you're going to shut up for a while and hear what God got to say to you. And I need to know, I need instructions from God. That's how I pray. I pray that I listen. But God speak back to you. Amen. 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 I appreciate y'all for coming forward. Amen. Don't move. We're going to bless y'all. Amen. Come on, uh, prodigal son. We're going to get out of here. we got about 15 minutes. We're going to be done. Amen. Thank God for the way, Pastor Grant. Amen. 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 Hallelujah. I'm good. Yeah. Thank you, Lord. How y'all doing? Glad. How you doing? Amen. 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 You blessed? Yes, sir. Amen. Got a favor? Yeah. Amen. Amen. Full of the Holy Ghost? Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. How many know that God said, pick your cross and walk with me? How many know that? Amen. Amen. All right. So, we're going to.